Hi, this is Venkatesh. Welcome back to VAT Accounting in Tally ERP9. In the earlier video, I have explained you how to set the VAT configuration for your company in Tally ERP9. And, and in this video, further we are moving to create the ledgers. For VAT computation, there will be three kinds of ledgers. The first one is the trading ledgers. The second one is the duties and taxes ledgers and the third and final one is the customers and suppliers ledgers. And let us start creating the ledgers for VAT computation in Tally ERP9. Here I am creating the trading ledgers. Those are known as the purchase and sales ledger for VAT computation of 5%. And here I need to select the VAT percent and here you need to set yes for the used in VAT return and this is the important thing that you need to set yes so that it can configure the VAT computation internally by tally ERP9 and after that you need to select the you need to select the correct VAT class so that the tally will decide which type of VAT computation it needs to be taken into account so this is also an important thing. Okay, yes. The second one is sales for 5%. And here is the sales account. Set yes. And select the sales at the right of 5%. VAT class. And after that, we need to create the two ledgers for duties and taxes. Those are input VAT for 5%. And here we need to select duties and taxes and these and this ledger helps while entering the purchase voucher entry it will calculate the input VAT amount for the purchases and the same thing will be affected in your VAT computation report and here you need to select the VAT type and this is the input VAT and you need to select the percent of the VAT in the normal rounding and yes and for the sales VAT computation we create the output VAT at the rate of 5% the duties and taxes VAT and here output VAT and the VAT class is output VAT at the rate of 5% select normal rounding and finally we need to create the two final ledgers the first, the first one is the supplier ledger and this is the Sunday creditor this is the Sunday creditor and the final ledger is our customer And this is how we can create the ledgers for VAT computation. Now we can see the number of ledgers available that we have created. Come to the display list of accounts. Here we can see, and here we can see the our duties and taxes under duties and taxes under duties and taxes. We have created input VAT ledger and output VAT ledger, sundry trader ledger, purchase ledger, sales ledger. 